Hello everyone, my name is Lucia Habush and I am an art history student. Today I would like to tell you something more about photo archive of Nenad Gatin. This is how I first met Nenad Gatin. As a big fan of Dubrovnik, I found this photo and I was really amazed because I never seen a view like this. And I find out it is a photo from Nenad Gatin. Before talking about archive itself and restoration and uh, preservation and everything, I would like to tell something about photography as a medium, which uh, it is it has in Croatian language three traditional meanings, which is photography as a procedure, photography as an object and photography as a perceptual unit. We need to make a definition between all of these because of the or orientation. So uh, for it, because of transition from one form to the another. The photographer is not a blind chicken is one title, actually a subtitle in an article that was written about Nenad Gatin. And why I put this here is because Nenad Gatin has had an amazing approach while he filmed some monument. So he was an art history student and he knew that he cannot photo photo anything, make a photo of anything before he make uh, a big research about a monument. So it is very important uh, to make an accent on, on his approach. This is Nenad Gatin and uh, his main focus actually in all his uh, photo activity was uh, cultural heritage uh, and his work was also registered as uh, cultural heritage but he showed uh, his uh, dissatisfaction about protection of uh, his negative so he said that uh, they do nothing to preserve it from moisture from from this uh, sentence we can see that he was really aware of uh, conservation and uh, preservation of photo material. This is Nenad Gatin and Tosho Dabac. Uh, Tosho Dabac was one of the most famous Croatian photographers and he wrote a letter to Nenad Gatin, which I put here because uh, from that we can see that the authority noticed Nenad Gatin. He noticed his work and we can see that in his words that uh, Gatin have undertaken to save our culture and artistic heritage from oblivion with photography. So photo archive of Nenad Gatin, uh, Nenad Gatin was uh, created in the second half of 20th century. It is consisted of 23,000 23, black and white photographic negatives photo albums, folders and binders, uh, and also contacts and enlargements. Uh, collection was inscribed in the Register of Cultural Heritage uh, in 1991. And since 2016, uh, the collection is stored in, at the Institute of Art History. And what is important to say is that all negatives are adequately stored and in a good condition. These are examples of uh, Gatin's work. Here we have uh, two details from Radovan's portal in Trogir. And one more. And here is the Oclasian Palace from Split. And one pre-Romanesque church. So when we talk about protection, there is uh, more stuff that <laughs> we need to uh, define and that is uh, photography degradation, preventive conservation and restoration. Uh, photography degradation can be uh, seen on more levels. So uh, when we talk about physical degradation, it is structural or mechanical and it is degradation in photograph image. Chemical degradation uh, can be seen as a result in color changes and it is degradation in the connective layer. And biological degradation is made by molds, insects and rodents. So it is degradation of a substrate. 
to prevent that, what should we do to prevent degradation of photo material is preventive conservation. So, uh, Peter Dabat, for example, gave us uh, gave us recommendations how to uh, prevent all these degradation, and it is. Uh, the most important thing is to control climate where materials is stored and especially uh, we need to prevent oscillation uh, oscillations in that uh, climate surrounding. Also, we need to prevent exposure to light, move away from water sources and control gases and pollutants. With handling why we are handling with uh, photo material, we should actually replace using the original with its reproduction and also we should use gloves. And uh, when we do that in practice, uh, that means making decision about uh, storaging and uh, way of keeping materials. So. For storage, we should only use those materials that have passed a photographic activity test. And also, uh, we should uh, package everything by format. And if some old packaging uh, has some historical meaning, we should uh, preserve it also. Uh, storage in practice is uh, going on in se on several levels. And uh, first of is uh, first of it is envelope envelopes, so we should put every negative in uh, one envelope for itself, and that envelope should be glassine or a strict or some strictly recommended synth synthetic polymers from synthetic polymers. Uh, every all envelopes should be put into boxes, also uh, managed by format. And those boxes should be stacked without uh, using glue or metal joints. And all these boxes, again, we put in one cabinet. It is recommended to put all the same material in the same cabinet. And also cabinets should be out of uh, chrome pl uh, plated steel. So even though uh, preservation is our main mission, uh, we should do it rather than restoration, but when harm is done, we can talk about restoration. And uh, if restoration is needed, it should be done on a case by case basis. And also integrity should be respected and all intervention interventions should be minimal. When we uh, decided to do some actions, all of them need to be documented. And what we need to document is all the methods and materials. Also, we should photograph all the conditions before, during and after treatment. And also in that uh, documentation should be written uh, recommendations for a later presentation. For every action we use, we need to test to use tested materials and also all actions should be detectable and removable. That's why it is uh, recommended to use um, Ter uh, term in, uh, restitution instead of restoration because all the actions actually should be done on uh, duplicated material because on duplicated material we can make interventions to improve reprodu reproduction so it is uh, better to use restitution and about uh, storaging of uh, the collection in institute of art history this is the building uh, where the institute is uh, placed. It is actually, um, it may uh, got in long standing idea of a central place uh, where uh, for the needs of basic historical and artistic uh, research, the most uh, photographic corpus can be found and management plan about this collection is better visibility in the professional and wider community, the possibility of presentation in context of new methods and processing and presentation of photographic material. Also, what is being done is revaluation uh, re process and uh, exhibition projects. Also, there are some more 
of materials that need to be processed, which actually started now under a cycle project. Uh, so there are some wooden boxes where new material, new material, new material is there, which need to be archived on the on the you know on the in appropriate uh, on appropriate way, yeah. <laughs> And also what will be done uh, this year is uh, digitalization of the collection. Uh, thank you for uh, for listening.